Hello there and welcome back to some more Project Zomboid and our 28 Days Later Challenge. Today we're going to be spending some time around the farm. I've got plenty of items that I need to find some space for and so far I've just been shoving things that we find randomly in any cupboard but I need to organise things a little bit better than we have so I can find things a lot quicker. We're up early enough to catch this morning's TV show so we'll check that out and see if there's anything that we can learn. And I'm just going to organise what we've got here a little bit better. Well, nothing on this morning, just a few adverts, but that doesn't matter. We'll catch the afternoon TV show, see if we can learn anything in that one. So we did pick up plenty of curtains, so I'm going to make sure that we get every single window downstairs covered up. That will stop any zombies pathing directly towards us. And we didn't do too bad for our hole out when we was in the gated community. We also got that Atari as well, that's something that's going to stave the boredom. And plenty of sheets, so we'll get them up around the bottom level and that'll help. Let's just add one over this broken window. Going to need to barricade this window, but at least having a sheet over it will stop and path in that way. And let's get rid of this glass on the floor here. And of course, Shiny's just cut herself on the glass, so we need to patch that up. That's typical. Always need to keep your eye on cuts. It would be ironic if the one thing that gets shiny is a cut from some glass. But it could happen. We'll just have to make sure we, we keep an eye on it. Keep changing the bandage. Okay. It's back to grabbing some more stuff out of the van here. Okay, so let's get all of these sheets up. At least on the bottom level so zombies can't see in. And... I will barricade up some of these windows. We definitely need to get a barricade on that window that's been smashed in. But having these curtains up will stop them pathing directly towards us. It won't necessarily stop them banging on the windows, but it'll certainly stop them coming towards us from a distance. I know with Build 42 on the way that light and the way curtains work is going to have a major change and torches are definitely going to be more of a necessity when you walk into buildings but for the time being this is better than nothing so i think we've got one more yeah we'll just get this one more on outside and i'll start dismantling some of this furniture we don't need so we can perhaps barricade that window that's broken okay fantastic Okay, well it's 12 o'clock, so we've got another TV show on. I am told that the 12 o'clock in the afternoon shows consistently woodcraft, and I must admit, I have noticed that myself, but it is supposed to be random, but I've, I've noticed that more than often than not, it is a carpentry show if you can catch it in the afternoon, and that looks like to be the case right now. And I know it is supposed to be random, but... Let me know in the comments down below if you know that for a fact, if the 12 o'clock show is in fact always carpentry. But it does appear to be the case right now. So it's still sorting out some of our inventory here. Looks like our bandages got dirty, so we definitely need to change that. Still just a scratch, but we'll bandage it up again. We don't want to get an infection on that. I'd say it'd be ironic if that was the one thing that got shiny in the end. A little bit of broken glass on the floor, but hey, that's Project Zomboid. It's only a matter of time. Now, Carpentry is always a good show to catch. It does seem to consistently be Carpentry that's on in the afternoon, but I'd say I was always led to believe that the shows are random as to which one you get. Okay, I've got no bandages on us. Let's just go and... Stick one on. Probably only need a plaster for this. And I have got disinfectant and alcohol wipes as well. So we'll just keep an eye on that. And hopefully that clears up. Doesn't prove to be a problem for us. Okay, next job. I want to get rid of these corpses. I don't want them too close to the base. So I'm going to stick them in one big pile. And of course we'll rip up the clothing. Should be able to get some thread and stuff that we can use. I'll just shove them all over here, I guess. Okay, this is the last corpse. 
And let's say it's always easier to shove them in a pile and then you can rip up all of their clothing. And of course, you don't want them anywhere near your base because it can make you ill, especially if you leave them inside your base. I think that was the last one. We'll tear all of that clothing up a little bit later. Hopefully we'll get some thread back and some denim and some leather so we can actually use that stuff to patch up our own clothing. Okay, time to change the bandage. So you do want to keep an eye on that and what do you know? I've actually got an infection. <laughs> oh dear, poor shiny. Okay, well, we can use some alcohol wipes. It's not actually too bad. But using disinfectant rags and stuff will stop infections. But you do need to keep an eye on it. I think we'll just use an alcohol wipe. And another adhesive bandage. That should be fine. I say should. <laughs> it's only ever in a matter of time in Project Zomboid. It was always hopeless. Okay. So let's tear up some of this clothing over here. So like I say, the better you are at tailoring, the more thread you'll get back. But we want to tear up all of these clothes. And I've got a needle, so we just need the thread. We'll rip all of this up, see what we get back. I can see there's plenty of dem denim and there is some leather there. So we can use that, again, to strengthen some of our armor that we're using anyway. Okay, well, plenty of stuff back there. Not much in the way of thread. I'd say the better you are at tailoring, the more thread you'll get back when you rip up these sheets. But we've got leather and denim strips. And I will use this stuff to patch up our own clothes and give us a little bit more protection armor-wise. And a couple more digital watches. We're just saving these up. Once I've read Electronics Volume 1, I will dismantle all of that stuff. Starting to get a little bit more organized here. Okay. Let's start dismantling some things that we don't need to get rid of this table. We'll get some nails and hopefully we'll get a few planks back as well from the stuff that we don't need. Looks like we've got another TV show on. Foraging. We can get rid of a couple of these chairs here. We're not going to be sitting down here. And managed to get a few nails back. Again, the more points you have in carpentry, the more chance you have of being able to rescue some resources from it. Looks like we're learning trapping, which is all good, but we still need to find that magazine so we can actually build some traps. There you go, a level in trapping. And we've also caught carpentry today, so a couple of good shows on. Just clear this stuff up. So we've got some nails, some scrap wood, unfortunately. But we will get some planks back. And we are getting some nails back. Okay, well, let's start barricading this window as this is the one that is actually broken. We don't want them just jumping through. They are likely to jump through that window as well because I have the TV on. Let's get rid of these chairs. Okay. And we can put another plank up. Of course, later on, if we find some metal sheets and stuff, we can put metal barricades up. But this is better than nothing. At least they can't just burst through the window. One more plank. And we've got enough to get a little bit better. That's definitely shored up this window. They can't just burst through now. They're going to have to knock that down. But that's much better. Okay. So a little bit of an easier day on Shiny there. Going to get some sleep. We're at 11.20. We'll get up nice and early. Perhaps we'll go out and do some more foraging tomorrow. But we've managed to sort out some inventory. And we'll get ourselves some sleep. I'm going to set my alarm for six o'clock or just before six o'clock so we're up early enough for the tv show hopefully our cut will have healed by the morning
So another bright and early start for Shiny. We're up early enough to catch the first TV show. Hopefully there's something good on. Let's go and check it out quickly before we miss it. And... It might be a cooking show, so we'll just hang around for this one. You can see that Shiny's definitely gagging for a cigarette. And how's our right hand doing? It's not dirty, so it looks like it's all cleaned up. The infection is gone. Fantastic. And we're learning some more cooking stuff, so that's all good. We'll stick around and get as much as that as we can. It won't be long before the TV goes off and we won't be able to learn anymore, so we'll take advantage while we can. And I'll just shove these here. I'm going to use that table to shove any weapons that we find or any guns or anything. We'll just have them out handy. So, can stuff. I've really had a good sort around so I can find everything that we need now. So, I think we will head out today and see if we can get into the warehouse that's quite close to the farm here. I could do with getting an axe and some nails. We definitely need a few boxes of nails. Before I do that though, I'm going to put an escape route up. I think we'll put it out just here, to be honest. So we need a couple of sheets, a hammer and a nail. And we'll just tie this into a rope. So if we do get overwhelmed downstairs and we have to get out, we've got another escape route upstairs. And I'll put one at the back here. But we'll also get one outside the front eventually. But there's something just in case we have to make a run for it. We've got an escape route from the top. So let's just grab some water before we head out. Fill up our bottle. As you can hear there, it looks like the water's now gone off, so there's only so much left in the pipes. And I guess we'll just eat some broccoli. I haven't had time to cook anything up, but we're still finding fresh food. Things haven't quite gone rotten yet. And I'm not too worried about food at the moment. Um, I'm just going to shove these sheets away because they do weigh a little bit and I'll use them put them in our tailoring bag and we'll use them for another escape route. Okay. So bright and early, let's go and check out that warehouse. And when I passed it yesterday, it didn't look too overrun, so we might be able to get in there. Well, there's a restaurant next to it, Smokies, and that also might be worth raiding. So let's go and check what's hanging about outside. So it's pretty much the closest buildings to us from here. It's just straight ahead. Okay, well... Smokies doesn't look too bad. Let's just park up. It's a big restaurant. We could get some food. If we can get inside there. I'm more bothered about breaking into the warehouse, if I'm honest. I could really do with finding an axe so we can chop some trees down make some planks. We've got a saw. So it just looks like the one zombie here. So let's just have a look what's inside Smokies. There is a flat above it as well that we can check out. So I can see one there. And sounds like a few more. Yeah, we'll leave them just to smash that door down. We'll leave them where they are for now. What does the warehouse look like? Because that's the main thing I wanted to look at. And honestly, it doesn't look too bad. We've got a small group just there. Yeah, when I passed it the other day coming back, I was quite surprised at how few there were. So I think it's worth fighting for. Again, just want to take it slow. 
So we've got that small group up the top there. What does the other side look like? That's the more important thing. Let's just check this side out as well. See what we're looking like on this side. A bigger group just here, but we can take them. One, two, three, four, and five. Just slowly do it. Just bring them over slowly but surely. Pick them off. That is the best way to go about it. Okay, so the warehouse has been broken into another larger group, but they look a little bit further away. Okay, so a couple more. Nothing of value on these. Couple more. And we're slowly getting there. Just two more to go. So that was the last of them. I think we can get inside. Just want to do this carefully. It does look like the warehouse has been broken into, so hopefully it's not really overrun. Let's just creep in here. Take things slow. Okay, so there's one just here. Don't like fighting in confined spaces like this. Having your back against the wall. They're the best thing. Okay. Oh! Oh, that was close, that was close. Oh, there's a couple more there. Ooh, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. <laughs> Just get out, get out. Oh dear. I prefer fighting outside where there's a little bit of space here. Okay. Oh, metal bar is definitely taking a pound in. Oh, it's just gone down to red. So we haven't got much left on that. That is a mod that we have on here, just to indicate how much is left on the weapon. You can tell with the little star in the top right hand corner down there how much is left on the weapon, but I think it's much better when you can see with the mod. I forget what it's called, but I do have all of the mods that we've got listed down below. I haven't overdone it on mods, most of them are just sort of cosmetic, nothing really game changing. Okay, so those two have seen us, and I need to be careful there because our metal bar is about to break. Okay, just try and push these two over, there we go. So not much left on this metal bar. Just a little more. First off, let's swap this round. Attach this one on our back so we've got a decent weapon. Okay. Let's see what we can find. I can hear something banging on this door. Yeah, it was just a one. It only sounded like one. Right. Oh, brilliant. Straight off the back, we found a fire axe. So that's exactly what I needed. Any type of axe. Now I can chop down some trees. I'm gonna grab any seeds that we can find and any gardening stuff as well so we can get into farming. Take some duct tape as well. So these guys are not gonna let me get to my van. Come on then. Oh, point in maintenance. That's gonna help with durability on our weapons. That's good. Okay, so watering can and an axe. We've got plenty of seeds, so we're going to be able to start farming. And, of course, I found the welder's mask, so I'm going to grab some of them propane torches. And we may as well take some of the metal sheets as well. So you need a welder's mask and a propane torch for that to work, but that's good. Be able to get our base a little bit more fortified. Okay, so... We'll just keep on going through what we can find here. Gun cleaning kits. So, yeah, I'm going to grab the metal sheets. Let's like say we can get them and barricade our windows now with metal sheets. Ooh. Just the one. We can deal with that fine. One thing I have been looking for is some crowbars, but we haven't found anything yet, crowbar-wise. 
usually quite common. Okay. Well. Found a second axe. And fire axes tend to be quite difficult to find. But... We've managed to get two out of this warehouse, so I'd say that's a pretty good haul. And I'm taking both of them propane torches. Okay, well, Shiny is getting pretty tired there, and I think we've pretty much filled up with plenty of stuff. So we'll get back to base. Importantly, we managed to find some fire axes, so I'm going to be able to chop down some trees. And we've got lots of boxes of nails now, so... We're going to be able to do quite a bit of building. Again, you can always come back to Smokies another time. I'm sure them zombies will just burst through that window and it'll be safer to go inside once they've all busted out. We're overweight and Shiny's a little bit tired. Yeah, it's not too hard. If you're looking for this farm you just got to follow this dirt track from Smokies and it doesn't take too long to get there. It's just around the corner, basically. You can see that we're going to burn through quite a bit of fuel, though, going over the grass using this van like this. Still a pretty good haul for today. I'm happy with that. And, of course, we've managed to get two fire axes. I'm kind of reluctant to use the axes as weapons because... They are kind of a rarer resource, and it's always handy to have them. And it seems like we've got a TV show on. I always forget about the 7 o'clock TV show. So we've got some foraging on, so we'll just check this one out. And, yeah, of course, we managed to get plenty of packets of seeds as well today, so farming is something else we're going to be able to jump into. Okay, skills wise, we're getting there. Things are going in the right direction. Well, another good day's haul in there. We managed to find some essential items and we're gonna be able to barricade this house a little bit better and we can start getting some farming stuff done. Now, of course, we're heading into the seventh day and it's from the seventh day onwards that the helicopter event can happen at any time. So I need to be up bright and early just in case that happens every day now because we need to be away from this area if it does happen. Of course, a huge thank you to my patrons as always. And until next time, I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.